Hey, what's up my little type of toes? Listen, new breaking news from the Black China update. My court observers have been getting back to me and guess what, Kylie Jenner just got done taking the stand. Now, a lot of people are gonna talk about Kylie being like, Tiger told me that China like literally cut his arm, but we're not talking, well, we are gonna talk about that, but let's actually talk about the details, right? Let's talk about the real, real. Let's talk about the Christian are training that coven well. They have no qualms about delighting and being hot trash. Let me tell y'all something. We're gonna talk about this, but the real thing is how Kylie said that she never considered her and Tyga in a real relationship. The goal, the goal of these people, you met China and became a babysitter in her house for her son with her fiance. When you met China, they were engaged. Everybody knew it. She had the ring. It was all over social media. They were engaged. They were literally, literally, literally living as a family unit. You came into their house when they were living in a family as a family unit as a babysitter and you're sitting up here testifying that you never saw them as a real relationship with your 14, 15, 16 year old self? Yo, you know what? Let's get into this testimony. But before we do, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys, like I said, I have court observers. We have a legal eagle breaking it down and you have my quirky and hyper wit. Listen, let me give y'all the plot. In this testimony, Kylie Jenner literally gave us the Kardashian blueprint of how to be a horrible person and then get mad when everything blows up in your face because everybody sees you for your trifling ways. Y'all, the lack of remorse, the lack of gall, the lack of delusion, and the lack of disrespect that they... You know what? Let's just get into this. Hit that like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on because you know this live is coming up tonight, 9 p.m., and we are talking all dreams, trademark, and how. Listen, it's an uphill battle, but China might just have another case on her hands that she might actually win. Y'all, let's get it. But honestly, we are going to get into testimony, but in the first few sentences of the, of the testimony, she literally gives you the roadmap to the Kardashians. They don't respect anybody's relationship. And fine, be trash all you want, but they don't understand. That's why everybody blows up at them when it blows up in their face. This is exactly why, but you know what? Let's get into this, right? Now, first, when she got on the stand, she smirked, right? Looks towards her mom, Kris Jenner, and sister Khloe Kardashian after swearing under the oath to tell the truth and the whole truth. My observer said she didn't look one time in black China's direction, even though, in my opinion, she was taking shots. It's weird to me that the woman that stole her fiance, right? Because they were engaged, with the woman that has been alleged of breaking up the house, with the woman at that time when she turned 18, they went official. You got so much animosity for China. But then, as you'll see, this handy slideshow that I'm just gonna pop on the screen. Charlie actually morphed into China. So maybe that's where the anger and animosity comes. That China is something Kylie will never be. But go on, let's get into this, right? Um, okay. Kylie said that she believed when Kylie, she believed when she first met China, she believed she first met China on a walk with Kim. Lynn was like, yo, so are you saying you guys are friends? Kylie, no. I wouldn't have, have considered us friends, no. Why wouldn't you consider them friends? Is it because you were literally having relations with her child's father? Flirting with them, pushing up on them, literally babysitting for a family unit that you didn't see as a real relationship? Get this, Kiani asked if Kylie had any feelings of animosity toward China, I'm sorry, toward China. Asked if Kylie had it. Kylie said, I don't know. Now, this is a strategy that Michael Haslam keep doing. Just keep saying, I don't remember. I don't remember. Did I say that? I don't know. And make them repeat everything. They really don't even give, feel at this point, it seems like they don't even give a damn about perjuring themselves. I'll get into that later with Chris's testimony, but let's focus on Kylie's dumb ass right now. Y'all ready? But when asked again if she ever felt angers toward China, she said, probably 
After I heard of the attack on my brother, he called me. I felt anger. This is the same brother that called Kim a W-H-O-R-E or something to that thing on national television. Same brother that released your phone number and said it wasn't hacked. The same brother that allegedly said, you hate China because she's about to become something you'll never be, a real Kardashian. That same brother? Mm. The same brother that allegedly maybe you guys were upset that the him and China, someone you deem unworthy, and we'll get into that, literally had a number one TV show. And you were still figuring out how to make your lips permanently punk because the North remembers who Kylie Jenner was before she was Kylie Jenner. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, right? She literally had the nerve out of her mouth to say this. Lynn and Kylie Jenner then discussed her ex, Tyga. Now, this was an interesting, um, let, let me just read you it, and then we're going to talk about it, right? Kylie was asked if she knew, right, that Tyga was Black China's fiance, to which she said it. Tyga did tell me that he never planned on marrying her, but that's just what he said to me. I don't know if they were really engaged or not. The fact that you did all of this and it blew up in your face because you're getting your karma with Travis Scott and sweet young bro, allegedly. But Tyga did tell me he never planned on marrying her, but she was just, that was just to me. I don't know if they were engaged or not. You knew China had on Instagram, they were close family friends. It was Kim's sister. What do you mean you never knew if they were engaged or not? You were babysitting their child. And even if they weren't engaged, you were living together as a family unit. Mm. Get this. Again, she asked if she considered Tyga to be China's fiance. Kylie replied in court, I never put much thought into that. No. This girl, the Kardashians. Ooh. In this whole thing, the fact that she said she never put much thought into it. No, they didn't seem basically saying you didn't think the relationship is real. Again, this is why. And again, this is why Chloe doesn't understand. Kim doesn't understand. They do these antics where they don't respect relationships at all. Maybe some calabasas, garden tool stuff. I don't know. But they don't respect relationships at all. They do this lying, scheming, and get what they want out of the situation. Yes, I know what you're saying. All the men they do this are trash and are dirt because Tyga was the wrong one, right? Tyga was the wrong one. But the fact that Kylie, you're the one that was a babysitter and you still got this animosity and you still getting off barbs like you in a freestyle rap. Um, yeah, I never put that much thought into it. No, I don't know. He said they were never going to get married, but mm. well, guess what, Kylie? He told you a lot of things. Weren't you thinking you were engaged? Did y'all ever get married? Did you ever do anything? except for cheat on you and turn you into a uh, black china clone. Remember when you got your whole body injected from your lips to your tips of your toes injected? Remember when you morphed literally into her from the ponytails to the colored wigs to the blonde wigs? Remember when you were desperate to look like her? Well, I do, the North remembers. But again, maybe that's why she's gotten so much animosity because every day she tried to look pretty for Tyga and every day Tyga sent her back to the bathroom saying, can you try again? And there were pictures of black china maybe paste all over taped all over the bathroom mirror and so she grew a lot of animosity and hate towards someone that literally was her goals can you imagine <laughs> do you think that tiger made when it was time for sexy time tiger made um kylie dress up as a uh, black china in rack city and made her try to like bounce and do whatever okay fine 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 i'll stop i'll focus let's get back to it but i can see why she has so much because china doesn't realize it but by China existing, it was a goal, an ideal that Tyga seemed to love she could never reach up to. Okay, but I'll put a slideshow up just so you can see the evolution of uh, Kylie slash China. Anyway, now, China moved on to questioning her about the alleged abuse to Tyga, which Kylie had the nerve to say. When we were dating, he would just, you know, express to me his troubles with China. You mean, while you were busy messing allegedly with that woman's man, he would come... Oops, sorry. He would come over and tell you all the trouble he was having? The fact that 
you are trying to justify what appears to me to be some hoe antics by saying the man that was cheating on the mother of his child and his fiance would tell you what a bad person she was. Really? What else did he say? Who is going to say, she's an angel. She's my heart. She doesn't deserve this. Anyway, Rack City. Rack City, why, why Kylie's trying to like, I don't know, jiggle or whatever she be doing. Anyway, um... She said, when we were dating, he would just express to me his troubles with China. He showed me his arm. I can't remember which arm, but he said China slashed his arm. Kylie right now sounds like one of those girls that be like, no, you don't understand. T Dog is from the hood. He's with the Southside Blood Crips. No, you don't understand. He showed me his bullet hole. No, he's been. No, that, that teardrop. And meanwhile, meanwhile, T Dog or whoever her hood boyfriend is went to some elite prep school, right? No, he showed me. He has teardrops. He's done things to people. No, that's what Kylie sounds like right now. My Kylie, shut up. Also, I do have to ask this question. Why is Lynn even letting this testimony in? To me, this sounds like hearsay. Unless I pray to God, hopefully Lynn has some type of affidavit signed by Tyga saying, um, China never touched me. I don't know what they're talking about. Because why is she letting them get away with hearsay in court? Again, did Ty is Tyga set to testify or did he give some type of deposition to support this information? I really want to know. The only other thing I can think Lynn is doing is maybe showing that the Kardashians had motivation to hate him. I mean, sorry, to hate China. But, but after that, that's really, really like gutsy because you're assuming that the jury is fair and honest, like a jury of law students or lawyers. You're assuming they're gonna put their own personal decisions aside, where they literally are a group of people that are gonna come with their own bias and their own things. So I don't know if trading, but then again, she's been steady at the helm, so I guess she knows what she is doing. Get this, China described the alleged attack. Chiani said, what else did Tiger tell you about the alleged attack? She said, well, he said to me that, you know, she abused alcohol and drugs. They got into a fight and she slashed them. Now, the funny thing is, I want to see the redirect because if that did happen, and that's a big if, because Tiger never went to the hospital. Well, let me just finish, right? It was a hilt scar when I saw it. And she said she didn't know whether Tiger went to the hospital or not or had stitches when it happened. Lynn asked about how large the scar was. She's like, like six inches long, right? And she said, did you ever see any proof that China caused this injury? And she said, no, I, I didn't see any pictures. So if I was Lynn, I would have been like, so let me get this straight. The woman who you once babysitted with and announced when you turned 18 that you were with her ex-fiance, now your boyfriend, that person used to confide in you all the time about what a horrible person the woman who you used to babysit for was, right? And from that, you got this narrative that she basically tried to murk your now boyfriend, maybe play make-believe fiance. Okay, let's not forget that Tyga also has been accused publicly of domestic violence. You can just Google it, right? Now, get this, right? Lynn went on to ask Kylie um, if she remembered at any time, any time, finding out that China was dating her brother Rob, to which she said she doesn't know when she exactly found out. Okay, that's fair enough. That's the only thing I'll give it to them, right? But then again, no, because they hate China so much. And I think Kylie hates China, not because she was dating Rob, just because she's jealous hearted, I think. This is what I think. And you're just mad that that was like Tiger's baby's mom and she existed. You wanted to be better than her, but no matter what happened. Anyway, she said, I was a little bit concerned to be honest from just the things I heard from Tiger. So like, yeah, Tiger and I went over to Rob's house and expressed our concerns. Let me get this straight. Black China, and this is the Kardashian playbook. Kylie was doing this at allegedly 16, at the very least, 18 years old, literally going in, pretending you're friends with someone, babysitting them, being in your house, and you see everything as fair game. And then the only thing with the Kardashians are, they don't stand in their trash. They get so upset and mad when these schemes blow up in their face and they want everybody to feel sorry for them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google Chloe, Google Kim, Google Chris, Google all of them and see the little sob stories about, we're just good people, boo-hoo. Does this sound like a good person? Anyway, 
the woman's that you used to babysit for, her fiance went over to your brother's house. Both of y'all went together to tell him to leave China alone. Why was Tiger worthy, but China wasn't, right? But let's not forget, Tiger got his karma. Because from what I remember, when him and Kylie broke up, there were so many articles about how Tiger was broke and getting evicted. And he was this and he was that, right? Kylie said, I still wish some of the best, right? She said, she might have already been pregnant at the time. I'm not sure if I wished them best or not. Kylie, you got pregnant three weeks after you met Travis Scott by your own calculation. So that means if you're saying three weeks, it might have been the third day. You got the nerve to be judging somebody? I'm just saying, right? She also recalled, she also was asked to recall her 2019 deposition. This is where China first bought up the issues. Where she went to her brother's, she said she went to her bro brother's house, Rob, with Tyga so they could express their concerns. Kylie said it was, it's just an expression. It's funny how everything the Kardashians say and do, just an expression, just joking, just like whatever, because we're really good people, right? And everything Ch Black China does, you hear sinister music. Dun, dun, dun. China could walk in and be like, hey, do you guys want a Dr. Pepper? Dun, dun. It would literally be that serious. The fact that they are going out of their way to paint her as the villain, even when Kylie's the real villain in this story. Tyga might be a villain. Chris a villain. Rob, in my opinion, damn sure is the villain. But anyway, get this. Lynn said, how could you wish your brother the best if you truly believe China slashed your boyfriend's arm with a knife? That's a regular question, right? Kylie said, I don't remember saying those exact words and it's just an expression. The fact that a judge is letting them get by with saying it's just an expression, everything's an expression and nobody remembers anything. No one, right? Ask if Rob told, now get this, right? Ask if she told Rob to leave China alone. She said, I don't remember if I said those words. No. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Woo. I do know, right? I do know. I do know that, um, yeah. First of all, it has been says, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, the most striking thing about me isn't that dumb lie about this, that, what she heard from Tiger the Hair say. The thing is that Kylie Jenner just gave us the blueprint for how the Kardashians live their life and how they continue, in my opinion, to be trash. Money ain't all, you know what? Ain't my business. Let me keep on reporting. Make sure you turn on your likes and notifications. Don't forget we're going live at 9 p.m. And Kris Jenner also got caught basically perjuring herself. I'm gonna read y'all the transcript so you can decide for yourself. And also, you know what? I'll save it for another video. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.